Joe, and I haven't made a video in a couple of days because I've just been so busy. Um, so I'm going to give you an update what's happening next. Um, the transformation in earnest has started. I've been doing so much prep work and so much getting ready for this. And um, I really feel like it's, it's really done. I've lost like nine pounds in the last seven days, eight days. I just started doing fully raw. Um, I'm on day number. I did, I did it uh, for four days and I took a break for one day. Then I was raw again for like four for three days. And now I've done, I took a break and now I've done two days consecutively um, all raw. And this is what I've been building up to. Um, all of this time was just getting into the position where I could really support myself with that lifestyle. I still rate, you know, high carb vegan, vegan, raw till four, no label vegan, whatever you want to call it. Um, they all work, but you've got to take a look at an honest look at where you're at in your life and in your health. And being diabetic, it does work with the other systems. I've proven that in those other videos, but um, it's it takes quite a long time. And um, in all the research that I've done, it, the fruit is the is the absolute key to reversing the diabetes because it's 50% comprised of fructose in most fruits and with which bypasses the pancreas altogether and is metabolized in the liver. So my triglycerides have gone a bit higher, but don't worry about that. My blood sugar's coming down. I pulled a 5.9 today at lunchtime. So, you know, I've been exploring this and making videos about other things and posting older videos about my philosophies that have been really supportive to me and the viewers you that's you by the way um but now it's like i'm building up to just start doing what i've always wanted to do which is just to track myself being a raw vegan at least for some determined amount of time maybe undetermined amount of time i'm not clear on that i've been doing a lot of exercise as well in for me it's been really shifting i've been doing uh, strength exercises i've been taking my time i've had a lot of support from a friend of mine called sean um and he's been good in teaching me a lot about the neurology of exercise and that's been very powerful um and there's been quite a few raw people in the house and just watching what they eat and seeing how they make it quite easy has really been really been inspiring. And I'm like, I can do this. I'm ready to do this. And I've been having some cravings, but I've been cycling around town and not letting them get to me. Going out, doing errands when I used to slip off the wagon and come back. Now, I'm not saying this is just going to be 100% raw. The way that, like indefinitely, the way that I look at it is... I look at the current constellation of my spiritual, uh, emotional, and physical self, and that gives me a guide on what to eat, and I bear in mind what's most beneficial. And I'm really seeing that um, the fruit metabolizes so much easier in my body than the starches. The, the, the fruit just vanishes where the starches seem to leave a trace. This won't always be the case, it's just that it all depends really on how insulin resistant you are from the beginning. Now, all of us will end up with no insulin resistance on a high carb vegan diet. It will get rid of it because you take the fat out of the cells, the insulin resistance normalizes. But if you've got a lot in the beginning, it can be quite uh, difficult to put in the very uh, slow, slow metabolizing foods like the starches. That's what I'm finding in my life. You can exercise it off, so if you're quite fit, you're already moving, you can do that, but uh, it's quite challenging. That's what I found. Now, the beans are better because they've got more soluble fiber, which slows down the sugar rush, which gives the body more time to process it, so that's why I did a lot of beans. But even the beans have quite a high level of complex carbohydrates, which just tend to linger. When I check, and this isn't here, so this is just me measuring my own blood sugar. I don't care who else it's good for because it is good. But that's what I find. If I measure my blood sugar, it stays higher when I eat rice. It stays a bit less higher when I eat beans. And it stays the least higher when I have fruits. So I've been building up my power to be able to eat the fruits predominantly. And let's see what happens. So that's where I'm at. Um, feeling really good, just generally. Um, 
Yeah, and, and I, I do feel like my channel is going to start shifting a bit now because I want to get back to sharing a lot of the research. I've been doing so much research, but I haven't made videos because I wasn't clear. And, and I just want to be making sure that I'm making statements that I think are clear and that I've kind of had a chance to at least test a little bit. So I did a lot of vlogging, which is really, really fun. But as I've always maintained, um, the core of this channel is to really support others um, to make the best decisions for you for yourself so that you eat in what's best way for you and 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 i'm finding now that um i'm feeling good going on to a, a more fruit well or purely by fruit based um program for the moment and we'll see what happens next so that's a little update for me and i will speak to you soon take it easy <laughs> i missed the button to stop it playing recording anyway catch you later